Hey folks, Ivan here with another episode directly to your face and ears. <laughs> so, how's everyone doing? I hope you're doing fine. It's a drizzly May afternoon for me, and I'm looking for this. This particular device has decided to flip upside down and needs to be remade. Yay. And the reason I needed this this today is because I need to make the wall. So let's check our inventory. We do have enough space. But apparently I... Oh, it's because this has inventory. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot that that's what I had done. Note to self. I'm going to make several different types of... Okay, we're going to leave that. Can we pull this still, please? It's moving a little bit easier. Now, the wheat does not get stored in the warehouse. That is for uh, wood and other goods. The wheat and other plant materials. Holy cow, this place is getting big. Get stored otherwise, or er, the where. What? I don't know. Alright, uh, so I actually needed to make bread anyway, so we're going to turn most of this into bread. Raw flour, then bread. Oh, that's easier. Send it over clicking. And we're going to take all this flour. Not here. Although we are going to eat the rest of this. And pick this piece up. We're going to take this all the way over to the bakery. Because that's where this belongs. It's going to be a pain in the rear for me. But you know, we, we might as well get to the point where we're using the various uh, places. Now what I did in my multiplayer, and what I'm going to do here, is I took the thing just like so. And, come on, do it. Do it for me. There it goes. Perfect. So it's a little hidden. We just got to eye it just right. And... Oh, I need to put some sticks in there so that it can craft. There we go. We'll just cook all of this up. There, perfect. And then we're gonna put some of this on the shelves and so on and so forth. Almost finished. And what I'm probably gonna do is maybe make a more of a universal cart, kind of like my multiplayer version. There we go. Drop my uh, cap there for my special drink of sorts. Oh, can't get that. I can't let that get too high. There we go. Nope, that one won't fit. This will. Look at that. Now that... That looks like it belongs. So fantastic. I love that. I just, I really do. All right. So, that's been taken care of. The next step is to run over here. 
And we're going to get the rest of the wheat out of this guy. So we can grab this piece. And everything comes off undone. You know, I think I've repaired this at least once before. And I don't know exactly what to do besides maybe make some sort of hoist that... I could, I could do that. When I'm thinking about it. So, if, picture, if you will, a device... Uh, 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 oh, I got an idea. A cart house, if you will. Where I have to store the carts at. And they've got little... Um, fastening points where they just get pulled up off the ground to avoid flippage during the load-in. That might work. That might work completely and fully. Right. As exciting as that sounds to me, that is not today's work. Today's work, apparently I can put... Okay, so those need to be blacklisted. Uh, I need to go get wheels over this way. And if you're wondering about the warehouse and me storing stuff in there, that will come eventually. Um, I still need to go in and modify the uh, stone stockpile. And the reason I need to do that is so that it, it's it treats it as a small block, and then I can place it in here... Um, without a be, being angry about being next to a wall. Right now, it, it doesn't compound, and I said made that suggestion, and they're like, well, you can use the small blocks. I'm like, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, because that's what I really want to use, is the small blocks for this. <laughs> uh Right, so, today's episode is brought to you by carts. The things that I love to make, but are also the bane of my existence. So, I'm going to throw this over here. We really don't need anything today. What we're going to be doing is doing the outline for the new cart. Um, or, no, what do I want to say? New cart? Uh, do, 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 do. This. Oh, that's wrong. Okay. I'm trying something new today. All right, there's the first spot. Of bother done. Now we need to do this. Alright, so this... I think this is backwards. Yep, that's backwards. That's not the intended direction. That is. So just gotta pick this guy up, put it in the right position. Like so. And I think the harvesters are a little wider, and that's why I'm putting it like that. Oh, yeah. I changed my mind. This often happens. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make this block uh, 9, and... What we're going to do is plows will be plows and harvesters will be harvesters and planters will be planters. Each uh, cart will have its own specialty and then we'll make a wonderful um, Alright, let's see here. That work. Let's 
uh, cart house is what I wanted to say. Sorry about that. Got too interested in what I was building to talk. <laughs> that happens. All right, so. I think I might make a modification to the wheels. Okay, so if I go back, yes, 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 yes. A thousand times yes. All right. So I think this is, let's see if it's, yes, that's perfect. Okay, so it's five away. And that makes the large wheels, okay. This is perfect. Oh, well, I, I don't need two wheels. There we go. Alright, and now I need a couple more. Oh, you know what I could do. I don't know if this will work. This would be neat if it works. Okay, so this is definitely way too long, but this is not. Okay, I got it. I got an idea. So we need to go chop down a tree. Just one. Um, lovely. <laughs> we'll chop down th this tall tree here so that we have enough materials. Basically what it comes down to is Need a little bit more material to get this done, and it'll be done. All right, cool. There we go. So I want to. Oop! I made an entire one when I didn't want to. That's fine. I wanted those. Um, these guys. This is what I want. It's a little thing in the middle. So I'm trying to figure out how to do that. I suppose the best way to do it would be to... That, yeah, that will be perfect. So, this, what we're trying to do now is, because I think this small one is just about the right size. I need to go over two. So. Huh. I see. Okay, so if we do something like this. I think I know what I want to do. I do this, flip this over. So it's nine. Then there, perfect. Like 
except we want this guy. Like that. Yes. And that's going to be, I think, a smaller will. Um, doo -doo -doo. No, let's do a larger will that prevents, like, dip issues. Like a dipping down, which would be bad. All right. So I think we pretty well got this established. Okay. Right. We'll do this real quick. Almost. Oh. <laughs> uh, my brain is not with me today. Um, there we go. No, why would you do this to me? You go there. So this should be a little bit easier. Alright. So we control it like this. In any case, the reason we need this device today, or spent most of the time building it, is because we want the ability to clear out this forest area. Um, I'm going to start over here, and we're going to make the cut, if you will. But the only downside is, is that I didn't put any locking mechanisms in it. Alright. So there we go. And I think I'm going to have to make at least... Um, well, I might be able to get away with one pass. So we're going to go down to here. And right about here. We're going to actually have to be kind of ginger with this. Oh, for Pete's sakes, it's not that hard of a concept, dude. You, you don't exist anymore. That's pretty much the deal. I don't know why, but it's so arg. <laughs> Where's that thing at? Okay, we're gonna have to get the hand plow um, for some of this. Yeah, I could chop them down, but yeah, whatever. What did I do with that? I think I put it in the smeltery. So for trees, we're gonna do that, and then for the bulk of everything, so we don't have to clear it all out. Smeltery? That's not in the smeltery. Where did I put it? There it is. Perfect. And I'm not too worried about extra plow uh, soiled or plow soiled.
because this whole area really needs to be plowed out anyways. Otherwise, trees will grow in between uh, stuff that I don't want it to. Unless I put like some sort of village stuff around here, which is cool. I like that idea. Gotta be careful. Alright. Perfect. Note to self, next time I do something like this, put a plow on the front. <laughs> oh well. It'll be fine. Okay. All right, you get out of there. All right, this is looking pretty good. And this probably should give you some sort of indication of how massive this is actually gonna be. And I might even put a, a roadway over here. Oh, you know what? This might be a good place for the village as well. Uh, the farmland village, that is. And we'll put this just like this. Then we're going to do another pass. Because we can. And we'll just make sure that, that, that it's it's clean. For the most part. Alright. Looking good. Looking real good. It's mainly over this side. So this should give a rough idea as to what the um, the wall is going to end up looking like. Alright, fantastic. Alright, we can turn off the plows. There we go. We'll bring this back up here, and we'll, you know what we'll do is we'll... Oh! <laughs> Tokyo Drift. And this kind of, I'm going to call this the frog. Looks like one of those little paper frogs that I used to make back when I was in grade school. Not entirely sure what they were for, but it was in one of the origami books that uh, this library had, and... Everyone made them occasionally. Alright, so we're just gonna plow this field again. And yeah, I, I could make this into more um, housing area. Like a more, another house location. And I'm considering it. Really am. Um... Because it seems to me that this might be a good place for a house. Um, pl or a place for houses, rather. For the, like, the, the upper class and such. Um, well, no, I should say mid-class. Mid upper class, I, I don't know where I'm going to put them yet. Or, well, I don't know. <laughs> it's a... It's a question that I, I think about daily. Not really. Uh, I 
I am not doing a good job with this. What I could do for this is... Um, is turn this into like circular um, uh, plows areas. I think that's what I'm going to do because th this is called medieval engineers, not do you know things the hard way, <laughs> engineers, right? <clears throat> oh, we're drifting again. That's okay, anyways. Um, the frog's done for the day, so we're gonna put it over here for right now. Oh man, I bet this could, you know what, I want to try it. Can this fit into the warehouse? Because this actually wouldn't be too bad of a storage location for it, um, providing it can fit in. Oh, come on. Ugh. Why? It, it is literally just like... Why would you do this? <laughs> Why would you make a block that is... Uh, okay, so what I can do uh, to fix this situation, and I'm not going to do it today, but I can do it in the future, is shorten these blocks up here and then attach the wheels to the back and that would we that would work i think then i could pull it inside and it'll be fine i don't know why they don't just marg <laughs> i don't think this was they didn't consider that when they were building these um i can't really fault them for that anyways but that's been Medieval Engineers. We were plowing the area. We had to make a new cart anyways for the plow because it broke. And um, I do notice a slight issue here is we're, we are going to have to have some... Well, I guess we got the, the, the gatehouse that's coming over here. So anytime I want to go and get um, stuff... I have to go through that gate. Their gate is coming. Oh, you know what? I forgot. I need that thing still. We almost ended the episode prematurely. Yeah. I think I'm going to use it for that. Come over here, bud. I got one more job for you. All right. Here we are. This. Go. There we are. Oh, you didn't plow the other side. Eh, that's fine. Uh, so I do it like this. Oops. That'll yeah, be fine. Plow that side. No oh, tufts of grass everywhere. There were no lawnmowers back in the day. Except for goats, maybe. If you want to consider that. Alright, so we'll just leave this cart. Well, we can't leave it in the open. We gotta put it somewhere where it's not gonna be in the way. 
The farmhouse. There you go. Not exactly in the farmhouse, just next to it. Alright, dude. That's it for you today. Thank you so much for being a part of this team. So, let's go ho head over what we just did. We We This is the outline for the the wall. That's Okay, so it's not straight. <laughs> we we can work on that. Um but I wanted to get relatively the uh, the marking. I can what I can do is I'll carve a little bit more out of the woods here. I think we might leave this little bit here just as a little nice little path. Um, what happened is is that, if you notice, I, I aligned it with that rather than the actual wall. But I need to gather a ton of wood to mark out the rest of this as well as put in some additional claim blocks, which I need to do. Um, oh, that's just a load issue. Okay. But this, it's getting there. Um, this right here, right up below me, is the a massive point of um, what's coming next. Um, this is going to be a village of. It's going to be a farm village, sort of. Um, I'm just basing it off of an old book that I saw, where. The peasants had their own little fenced-in area so sometimes, and um, at least some, at least sometimes I believe, and so that's what's going to be here, and we're going to have like wooden towers and such that um, mark out this area, and this is that's why I was considering moving the farmhouse out of this, or keep I might keep the farmhouse just as a place for storage for our wheat and such, but the main uh, facility is will be out here, which will be really neat in the end. I can't wait for that. The other thing is is that I did go into creative mode um, last time, and I dug way down, and I mean way down. It's oh, it's far down. It's I want to say somewhere between 30 and 50 units down uh units being blocks stone blocks so what i need to do is i need to um when 0.5 comes around i will probably have to go into creative mode as much as i don't like to say it if i if i want to continue this build on this world i'll probably have to do something where i uh place stone Closer to the surface where quarries would be. And I'm, I'm doing the air quotes. Because uh, shovels... Well... Point five definitely came out by now. So shovels did do not mine... Or, um... Dirt doesn't yield stone, large stone anymore. It yields dirt from shovels and so on and so forth. If this is not the case, then oops, my bad. <laughs> it depends on... on I keep telling them that the, definitely need the ability to get stone from that. Um, I'm like, well, when I was watching the, the updates, I'm like, oh, well, wait, dirt comes from some s soil, but yeah. So that's the, the problem I'm seeing with the, the that update is just that it makes coring a little harder. Um, but I'll probably, what I'll do is I'll put stone down, um, when point five comes out, if this world survives, if it doesn't survive, then oh well, it's on to season three and hopefully they will have solved the stone issue. Although season three won't require as much stone, um, as this build the will, season three will focus, it, it's probably going to be shorter too. I imagine you can only do so much <laughs> with what I, I'm planning. Um, and now, I don't know, we'll see how everything goes. But if you like this video, I know it was, it was kind of 
very basic. I had I made a car and a dirt path essentially. Uh, but if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you have any questions or comments, the comment section is down below. Um, if you're not subbed and you want to see more of these kind of ends of videos, go ahead and sub. But that's going to do it for this episode today. Thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.